record on this computer. Can I pause it without pausing? Hello, and welcome to the Digital Free Thought Radio Hour on WOZO Radio 103.9 LPFM, right here in Knoxville, Tennessee. We're recording this on Sunday morning, April 24th, 2022. I'm Larry Rhodes, or Doubter5. And as usual, we have our co host, Wombat, on the line with us. Hello, Wombat. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you. <laughs> um, our guests today are the Dread Pirate Higgs. Hello. Oh, are you there? And welcome from Canada. The John Richards from over on England Way toward London. And uh, George Brown, the two and a half from East Tennessee. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. We, have, we have somebody lurking. We don't know who it is, but it'll come eventually, I hope. And we'll announce them at that time. Digital Free Thought Radio Hour is a talk radio show about atheism, free thought, rational thought, humanism, and the sciences. And conversely, we'll also talk about religion, religious faith, gods, holy books, and superstition. And if you think you're the only non-believer in town, well, you're just not. In Knoxville, in the heart of the Bible Belt, we have a group of over a thousand of us. Ooh. And we'll tell you more about that after the mid-show break. Well, Matt, what's our topic today? Just want to say your group is one of the highlights of Tennessee, particularly of Knoxville. I feel like it's right. pioneers and making sure no mindsets get too crazy or dogmatic. It's really, really great community. Cool. But today we're doing a performance review on God. We're at the end of the quarter and we've invited them to our office and we're going to have a sit down conversation. Hey, don't have to be worried about, but would you like to take a seat and have some coffee or something like that? Let's have a conversation about your review, uh, your performance review. Anyway, before we get into the meat and potatoes, let's throw it up to Rowan Dread Pirate Higgs for a weekly invocation. All right. Our noodly Lord, who art in a colander, al dante be thy noodles. Thy blood be rum, thy sauce be yum with meat as it is with vegetables. Give us this day our garlic bread and forgive us our cussing as we forgive those who cuss against us. And lead us not into ketoism, but deliver us some carbs. For thine are the meatballs and the sauces and the grog, whenever and ever. Amen. I am looking so forward to eating some pasta today, actually. So that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Dread, mm. I hope you had a good weekend. We weren't, we didn't see you since last week, since we've been off. How you been? Uh, not too bad. I, uh, I, I can't remember if I told you I went to the TED Talks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that was really cool. I, uh, I saw. Elon Musk was one of the headliners on that, and okay. as was Bill Gates. And I have to say, I have a, a, a new respect for Elon Musk. If he's half as sincere as he comes off, um, I think uh, I think we're uh, there's hope. I will say um, this: he definitely comes off way more sincere than like a Zuckerberg, right? And, yeah. and Bill Gates also, you know, surprisingly for as much money as he has, does seem more down to earth than like the you know haberdasheries of like curly cued mustache guys like they do seem like to have like <laughs> not like you but like yeah it, they seem like good people like you could like invite them over and like not freak out right but right aside from them being just being like wow you're really poor it's like yeah that's true too mm -hmm. hey, what's on, the, on the subject of mustaches yes mustaches, i was looking yes. up i was i was looking up um slang words for mm. mustache recently and one i particularly liked is snot mop <laughs> <laughs> my, my my question is why would you be looking up slang words for mustache <laughs> <in the first laughs> hey that's, that's, a, that's a strange thing to, john richards yeah. what have you been doing over your vacation aside from looking up slang words for mustaches <laughs> well I, i've been fantastically busy i keep doing stuff even today i've just come from another chat an american chat hosted by a, ga a guy called brett keen um so I, I was just innocently watching snooker on tv okay okay that, that's like pool only about 10 times better it's like billard and bigger <laughs> much yep. bigger yeah, yeah yeah harder too yeah mm -hmm. yeah and and uh, i had this message because he'd seen me with my Free Thought Hour guest yesterday. And that guest, J.D. Kane, talked about Brett Keane. And Brett Keane wanted to get 
back at him, you know? So he invited me onto his show. He was in the middle of doing an 11, 12 hour marathon. So he was pretty spaced out. So anyway, he was, I, on, I he was online for like 11 hours doing a marathon. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. <laughs> so anyway, I jumped on and, uh, uh, my producer is currently ripping that section of the show to for us to put onto my channel. So it was a bit of fun. There was a lot of um, questions on evolution and, and stuff. As soon as they found out that I'm basically an ex-biology teacher, mostly biology, they, they wanted to quiz me on uh, evolution, which I was happy to, to yeah. do. I'll tell you something. You're never an ex-biology teacher. You're just a biology teacher that isn't getting paid to be teaching anymore because you're still exactly. teaching. You're yeah, yeah, still yeah. always advocating for biology if every breath of your mouth absolutely yeah my the first line the Sorry. first line in my cv says uh i'm a retired science teacher who can't stop right right mm -hmm. right 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 mm -hmm. so i heard you're also doing some talks against some um notorious celebs of the uh religious persuasion kent ovind uh -huh. yes that's that's being fixed up for me by by this guy uh Brett Keane, who hosted the, the chat show that I've just jumped on. And I think it's going to happen. He's he's a contact of Kent Hovind, and I think he's aiming to fix me up with, fix us up uh, together on a chat All on right. Tuesday. Tuesday, so I, I will keep you guys posted. Okay, pretty cool, pretty that cool. Sounds I, like fun. Yeah, my thing about Kevin Hovind is... Uh... At least physically, he looks like a guy who works out pretty good. He's got good quads, good back, and good forearms because he's lifting so much BS all the time. So it's got to help. <laughs> got to help out with that. Uh, Larry Rhodes, how have you been? I hope you're. I hope you're uh, doing well over the weekend. I'm doing doing fine. Um, glad to be back. Of course, I was out of the town last week uh, visiting a, an ill relative, but. Um, She's doing okay or doing better. She's recovered a little bit. Uh, and we'll, we'll just keep monitoring that situation. But anyway, uh, glad to be back. Uh, still doing the same old stuff, working during the day, playing games during the evening. And uh, really enjoying this beautiful weather we're having nowadays. So I mean, nice. look outside the window. <laughs> <laughs> it finally looks like how it looks at the it window finally outside. Does, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it's actually still enjoyable to be outside too. It's not just yeah. like Same here too. Heat. Uh, really now that's surprising. That's surprising. Mm -hmm. So it's the first only two good weeks of the year to visit England. I'm gonna remember that. <laughs> oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh so I've also been playing games too. I got a copy of Breath of the Wild, which is for the Switch. It's like I'm going through some Nintendo games that I never had the opportunity to uh delve into. Uh, mm -hmm. The long weekend was a good time to jump into it. Good game. But also, disc golf still. I'm still getting very into it. I'm in a 40-person league. And if I do well in this last week that we're going to have this last week, I'll finish in the top 10, which I think is a great goal for Excellent. my first time out. And there's some really good yeah. guys out there. So it's a yeah. good crowd to be in. Um, yeah. I think – oh, go for it, Larry. Um, I just wanted to mention that you may notice that I have a haircut. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't start <laughs> – yeah, this is <laughs> this is good radio here. Good. Um, but uh, I have to mention that uh, after six months of growing my hair, I finally got a haircut, and I found a place that nearby where I lived that I'd never been before, and I went in to uh, get a haircut there, and it was a brand new place just opened, and it has a bar. <laughs> it has a bar, so you're never leaving me. Guess it has like. a bar, bar, and while you're there to get your haircut, all the drinks are free. What? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well. All the it's, apple juice you can drink. Dread, what do you, what do you think? Yeah, um, I, I did uh, the same thing when I was in Vancouver. Um, a straight razor shave with the mm -hmm. hot towel and the cold towel, scotch. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's uh, yeah. They treat you yeah, pretty good. It's, yeah. it's a man here, spa. Yeah, it's a man it's spa. Tune up, I think. Yeah. Okay, cool. I seen one of those in Atlanta before I headed out. So yeah, yeah. I, I can I can respect the digs. Uh, yeah. Miss Miss iPhone person, are you able to talk or join the conversation? Hey, who me? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Welcome. Hey, how you What's... doing, Larry? Oh, doing right. fine. If uh, you're this willing... is a friend of mine. Yeah, if you're but, willing uh... to, would you mind introducing yourself? If as much information as you're willing to delve into, and then uh, sure. Let me tell so... your last couple of weeks. Went. Yeah. So I am a in the closet 
born and raised atheist and I live in the south <laughs> um, so I'm so glad to be here I'm a friend of Larry Rhodes and I'm so glad that I met him and found out that I wasn't the only person in the universe yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so what, what very similar to my story I'm glad I met Larry too what's, what, up, what's your handle what can we call you you can make up um, anything um like I'm Dread Pirate Higgs. Milk Bone. Milk, Milk Bone. bone. Oh, no. I like right. it. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. I like it. I like it a lot. Cool. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. We're happy to have you. Well, we're uh, having an interesting topic today. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, before we get into it, George, I see you. You know, you know, I love you. How you been the last couple of weeks, my friend? Well, I too have a haircut. And... <laughs> <laughs> I had to get a new driver's license and I realized all of a sudden that they would need a picture and, and, and I had to apply for something mysterious called real ID. Mm. Oh yeah. Same here. And this ha actually has some importance because you can't get on an airplane without this. So um, I needed to get a haircut very quickly and um I also wanted to go to an enlightened barber, you know. Um, yeah, good luck. Living here in the Bible the Belt, I, I didn't, I did not want to have, uh, have to <clears throat> have to hear any lectures about things I didn't like while I'm getting my hair cut because I'm afraid of what I would do, you mm. know. It's like stop me before I kill again, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, I remember. So, oh, go ahead, John. What's up? Well, I'm, I'm a bit puzzled here. You Americans have real things, which implies that there might be unreal stuff as well. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of unreal stuff. It's called. Over well, let's put it this way. If I got an unreal real driver's license without this gold star on it, uh, everything would be fine, except I couldn't fly in an airplane. Right. So, I mean, not that I'm planning on any trips, but uh, so in other, anyway, <laughs> to get the new driver's license. I had to get a picture, and to get a picture, I, I needed to, to, you know, get my curly locks trimmed so I didn't mm. look like a, a hippie anymore. And and um, so <laughs> I found my, I found myself a, a Latino barber shop here in my town, Good for you. very trendy, extremely expensive. And um, so I thought, well, I've got to pay this money. I got to get this today and get this over with. And I. When the, when the barber was done, he was a young fellow from Mexico City who's been here for a year. I complimented him on his English, and um, he he finished. And I said, who do I pay? He said, oh, you don't. And I said, no, no, who, who do I pay? He said, he said your haircut is free. You're a nice man. Ah, uh, that's mm. a nice guy. So cool. could be... Well, I'm not going to say anything rude. That's that's a good thing. And sometimes if I messed up as a, if I would mess up as a barber, I wouldn't pay anybody. I'd be like, hey, you just walk out. I apologize. Don't tell them you came here or anything like that. Go well, ahead. it was it was strange. I, I mean, because I I was all set to pay an extremely high amount of money, um, which I didn't know if I could afford. And he has a fellow just give me. The What's the name of the barber shop? Let's plug it real quick. Oh, it's called it's called the Athens Barber Shop. Nice, nice, nice. Some good will and some good promotion. Guys, yeah. speaking of marketing, you know, we run a tight business here. This is like a, it's a group of guys and, and milk bone. <laughs> we, we can have you. But what we're going to do is uh, uh, we, you know, we've come together as a group to uh, basically review God's performance over this, you know, fiscal quarter or in April. I think it's, you know, we've had some concerns as a board. And I think, you know, it's probably some good time to express those to, uh, you know, God at hand. And since we've invited him to this call, uh, yeah. uh, we're recording it at least since he's not shown up. I think that's one of the problems I do would like to bring up. He hasn't shown up to work for a while. His attendance is a, it, a, it, atrocious. It's pretty bad. It's pretty <laughs> bad. But we are recording this. So like if you ever does decide to call in, uh, we, we will happily address any questions that he brings up on the show. Um, just to lead on some things, um, I'm very happy with God's, you know, 
you know, basic level of work, you know, the basic requirements that we asked them for, like making sure gravity is working, nature is working, up is up, down is down. The only problem is that seems to be, as we learn more about those things, they seem to be things that largely take care of themselves. In fact, I'm reverse engineering a lot of the problems that we're dealing with in terms of physics and nature. And I don't think there's a God component at all. And I'm wondering if we're just giving him extra credit for something that he may have either set up or had nothing to do with in the first place. And I'm not, and I, I've sent some emails out to God to, to see if he could speak up on it, but I haven't heard anything. And one of the main things that I say for my employees is make sure your work is visible and accountable because otherwise, I don't know if I should lend you the credit for the good work that you're doing. So if it is you, try to speak up and demonstrate it. Don't have some guy named Matt or Lucas or any of the other Italian guys, vaguely Italian guys from Mesopotamia, speak up on your behalf. Just, you know, speak up for yourself. And we'd really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> beyond that, I think, you know, the work attendance is a little concerning. I think Larry will may speak more to that. But uh, <laughs> otherwise, you know, thanks for keeping the areas relatively clean. I'm not going to give you you know, I'm not going to fault you for like the things that we did, like obviously torture, racism, bigotry, prejudice. That's us. Yeah, we agree. That's definitely us. But it would be nice to see you have more of a participation in not fueling that fire to an extent. Like if, at least if you're not a part of it, just say, hey, I'm not a part of this, guys. But I don't know. I'd love to hear what the rest of the board thinks. Larry, do you have any thoughts on God's performance for this quarter? Well, would be nice if he'd show up and give us something to evaluate. Uh, but no, he, uh, you know, he just doesn't, he's apparently lazy. I don't know. Uh, all of his, <laughs> all of his goals are not met. Um, you know, he's, he's never here. Uh, doesn't have much of a sense of humor. You know, <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't like somebody, they usually die in a fiery or a disease. Um, you have know, a bad just, reputation. He, he's not saying. a team player. <laughs> mm, you're not a team player, God. That's what we really want to highlight. Good point. Good point. Yeah, it's Lord. always I, I, I. I am. I am. And there is no I in team. <laughs> right. There's no right. I in team. It's very true. Dred, mm -hmm. sounds like you have some things you would like to add to this. We're well, trying to you know, your God. Yeah, it's, you know, all the secularists and the humanists and the pastafarians are doing all the heavy lifting here now. Uh, Put your shoulder into it, God, to get something done, will you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Stop, stop just standing on turtles all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> and letting other people speak for you. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. John Richards, uh, do you have any thoughts on God's performance for this quarter? Yeah, well, on the subject of letting other people speak for you, mm. I want to know, because uh, you, you may or may not know that the, the UK government has come up with this scheme to... Gap, grab immigrants that are, you know, rowing across the channel in little tiny boats, and many of them are drowning. Mm. So the, the idea is to grab these immigrants, fly them to Rwanda, and process them there. Now, Rwanda is central southern Africa, you know, about, about uh, 1,500 miles away. And that's God's the aware, God's aware. God's very good on geography. He would even that's, claim that he made it. That's that's the the government's policy, but mm. God's agent, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, has has come up with this statement that he thinks that is opposite to the nature of God. So mm. I want to know, I want to know, God, what business of yours is it? What the UK government gets up to? Yeah. You know, I think what it is, is God, you're allowing other people to speak on your behalf that may not necessarily have your best interests. And it might be better if you just clarify some things because these people may not necessarily represent you in the best way possible. And you yeah, seem yeah. to have a track record of allowing that to happen. So yeah. you got to take ownership of your ideas. If it came for exactly. you directly, it might be better received, is all I'm saying. Exactly. Cut out the middleman and give us some face to face. We're spending a lot of money on middlemen. And I'll, I'll touch on money <laughs> later on. But uh, Milkbone, do you have so, any thoughts on God's performance for this? So, so it's. Just let me finish this because it's sure, sure. Don't um, you, no. <laughs> don't don't you have don't you have Zoom, God? <laughs> Zoom account. Go, even a Steam Yard account would work well. They were both cheap. Yes. They're both free. They're both free. Yeah. Uh, Milkbone, you said you didn't have anything to add about this. You're mm -hmm. you're, you're perfectly happy with the performance. Golden interview. Oh, uh, no, there is no performance. Uh, it's absent. <laughs> totally. 
Fair enough. Fair enough. George Brown, do you have any thoughts on God's performance for this quarter? Well, I, I, he doesn't seem to be around much. I, uh, you know, I'm looking at, at the Russians blowing arms and legs off little children in, in the Ukraine. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, what, what can I say? God works in mysterious ways, right? Mm. Or does he work at all? Yeah. Yeah. Has, he been showing, has he been showing up in the office at all? Exactly. I'm wondering whether he's in that closet along with uh, our, our guest down, down here. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like there's so many bad things happening that's clearly the fault of human beings that there's no interventionist God that claims to be benevolent that's participating or stopping a lot of this stuff from happening. And yes. if that is the role of a God that is benevolent, that does love people, there's a lot of stuff that he should could or should be stopping. And I, yeah. I, I wonder, God, like, pray. Let's your, pray about uh, it. job mm -hmm. requirements and is prayer a good way to contact you? I noticed you didn't leave your phone number down on any of these business cards that we have for you. That's, maybe we should go back different. to sacrificing goats. Maybe, maybe, though yeah. we do what? have a budget overhead on fires started in the building. So let's just make sure we pay attention to that. Larry, what's up? Some thoughts? Oh, I think he, he, he kind of, from what I can see, he acts like a mafia boss. He never shows up. He's never actually here to do the work, but he has all these other people sticking up for him, <laughs> you know, and ma making excuses for him and enforcing mm. his, his quote, um, dictates, but we never see him. So, you know, does he, is he really there? Right. You know, and, you know, normally we wouldn't have a problem with this, you know, degree of truancy if there wasn't so much the money component. So, like, if we open up our financial books, if you guys look to uh, page 37 in this statement, we notice that, like, over 10% of the people who do believe in you, God, like, the people who do believe in you are giving over 10% of their money to you. Where is it going? Where is it going? Yeah. And why do you need <laughs> it in the first place? I just... I was a little confused by that. Like, is there slot machines or coin machines that you put money into that miracles come out of? Could we just not have those machines ourselves? Or is there like some other system that you need our currency well, since, for? It seems like it's a very- There's no miracle. I haven't seen any miracles. I think the money's just going to an offshore account. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like our inflation rate stayed at, what is it? 2%, 7% per year to something like that fluctuates back and forth. But you've been asking for a steady 10% since it looks like the last 2,000 years, maybe 15,000 years, as mm -hmm. far as we're aware. That you're not even adjusting for inflation. So like, what is the uh, extent of this money that you're using it for? And are you still capable of buying the same things with or without it? Like, what are your costs? What do your books look like? I'd love to see them. Um, and if not, that's another concern for us. So mm -hmm. you know, overall, I think um, we'll just do a round table review, one out of five stars or uh, zero to five stars. Uh, John Richards, what do you think? Oh, zero, I'm afraid. <laughs> Ooh, that's rough. That's rough. That's rough, God. That should be at least a warning for you. Okay. Dread Pirate? Absolute zero. Absolute zero. <laughs> Not just regular zero. Absolutely. Okay, okay, zero. okay. Uh, uh, it must be a Celsius zero. <laughs> Mr. Doubter five. Mr. Doubter five. Um, well, can we go negative? <laughs> well, no one's ever done it. That's unprecedented. Uh, like um, need... Minus ten. Okay, uh, you're... <laughs> it's not. It's not like he's not doing anything. It's actually doing harm. So mm. he's working against us. That's a good point. It's not like you're just not showing up to work. You're actually causing a lot of indirect harm mm -hmm. by just you. Right perpetrating the fact that you're accountable for certain things that you're not showing up to do right. and i think that's and through the next generations as well mm. okay milk bone uh, zero out of five well i gotta say that i hear it um a lot of all day long from people who are religious that there it's confirmation bias whatever it is that's good that happens mm. it is god Right. So uh, I'm sorry to have to throw that out there, but he's working all the time. Mm -hmm. I see it. I see it in people's comments. They make it comments on it. And, and I'll go and I'll go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but how many comments sure. have you seen by God himself? You know, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's a good point. I have had conversations with people like, how do you define God? And I can get them away from the idea or at least get them thinking about what they mean when they say God. And they just basically say reality, but only the good stuff. And I'm like, give me an example of something that's like, a good thing in reality that has like oh, well. a component to it and they can't they have trouble bringing up examples because everything's nuanced if you look at it and the things that we value as good could be interpreted as bad like oh mm -hmm. i have a car yeah but that makes pollution right 
It's like, oh, well, then I guess God isn't Ferraris, right? <laughs> you can get people to stand back on stuff like that. But honestly, what would you be your final rating? Zero out of five stars for God. So we can close up this call and then get to the next God. Oh, for the existence of God or for, uh, for his what? performance? For his job? His job performance? performance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This his quarter? Yeah, this zero. Quarter. Negative zero, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Negative zero. <laughs> The rarest number of all, George Brown, second and a half. Well, I, I think, um, you know, in terms of the cost benefit analysis, we're not getting mm. our money's worth on this guy. I think we should take him back to God of the Ross and get a refund and buy ourselves another God. Maybe we could get a better one who mm -hmm. maybe would do we a better could. job for us. Yeah. Flying Spaghetti Monsters available. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen. That we works. got Flying Spaghetti resume, and I think he's actually overqualified for this position, if anything. But yeah, if he's open to it, we I think that'd be a good get for oh, us. Yeah. If he shows <laughs> up, that'd be better. <laughs> John Richards, what do you think? Well, I, I just want to know how we can do it, give him a rating, because, you know, other services like Amazon and YouTube and so on, they send us a form, and we mm. can select how many stars we've chosen, and if we like, we can put a comment, but nothing from this guy right 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 it does seem weird it's like even when there's jolts of lightning it's just people being like well i think that's god right like if one of us were to, if all of us were to that's drop good. dead right now maybe that would be indicative of something yet i've yet to see god take such a personal stance in things it'd just be nice if he could just called into the show and, and explain his behalf mm. on, on mm. his lack of you know uh accountability for this entire quarter i think it is very concerning George, uh, dread, dread pirate yeah i was like just that? gonna say that uh there was an Ipsos Reid poll done in Canada on uh, religiosity, uh, sort of, um, and it, the, the increase in uh, irreligious people is uh, is quite high. It's like over 40, 41 percent or something. That's like so that. good news. It is good news, uh, and you know Christianity is down to like twenty one percent or something like that. So waning, yeah, yeah. good. And, and there's uh, there's some people who say that uh, religion may be gone by twenty forty. Right. Nice. Together, <gasps> no, churches are closing everywhere. Awesome. The churches people who are, are claiming to be Christians people. are desperately fracturing in terms of what that means to them, yeah. and yeah. largely are non denominational and largely just in the spiritual sense of culturally Christian but not actually right. like even attending church or doing what the Bible says. Yep. That said, God, uh, my final review would be one star. I'll be the nicest guy here. I'll just say, I'll put a little warning here. I'll be, I, I know we'll probably see the same problems next quarter, but you're on warning right now. And I just want to make sure you know that we all support you. Just come into work. That's, and we can work it from there. We're encouraging you to actually do your job. We have a lot of faith in you, whatever that's worth, but we'd like to have hours <laughs> at your actual location many do yeah 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 like faith doesn't really get us anywhere it doesn't fill up the coffee machine help us out here uh that's it for at least this forced uh half hour i think we're at the bottom of the half larry would you mind taking us out oh not at all this has been the dig well the first half of the digital free thought radio hour we're on wozo radio 103.9 lp fm mm -hmm. right here in knoxville tennessee and we'll be right back after this short break <laughs> Welcome back to the second half of the Digital Free Thought Radio Hour. I'm Doubter Five, and we're on WOZO Radio 103.9 LPFM right here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Let's talk just for a second about the Atheist Society of Knoxville. ASK was founded in 2002. We're in our 20th year. ASK has over 1,000 members, and we have weekly in-person meetings in Knoxville's old city at Barley's Taproom and Pizzeria. Look for us inside at the high top tables or out on the deck if it's a nice day. We're usually the loudest and happiest group there. Very we true. also have Tuesday evening Zoom meetings. If you'd like to join us virtually, email us first at askanatheist at knoxvilleatheist.org or let's chat se at gmail.com and we'll send you a link so you can join us. You can also find ASK on Facebook, meetup.com, or go to the website at knoxvilleatheist.org. Or you can just Google Knoxville Atheist. It's just that simple. By the way, if you don't live in Knoxville, you can still go to Meetup and do a search for an atheist group in your town. Don't find one? Start one! Right, where you want to pick up there, Wombat? Hey, let's do some listener comments real quick. Um, got a lot of feedback over the holiday break. Thank you guys so much. We'll go through these 
And uh, feel free to leave more questions on our channels or our email addresses, which we'll plug at the end of the show. Uh, Dada's Trader Room says, five out of five atheists will agree that you exist. Does that mean that I am not an atheist? Because I claim that I do not exist. Or does that mean <laughs> Ty is wrong? So a lot of problems here. One, that's not the only two options. That's a false dichotomy. False dichotomy. Uh, <laughs> two, <laughs> atheists don't agree that something exists. Atheists are just people who lack belief in something because they don't have enough evidence to support or warrant belief in it. Right, that's right. it. And likewise, five out of five people agreeing on something doesn't necessarily make it something true. But five out of five people can be justified in not having enough evidence to believe in something. And that's all an atheist is. They're not making a definitive claim that a God doesn't exist. They're right. just in agreement that they have not met their standard of proof yet based on the evidence provided to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's, you know, fix those things and we'll come right back to it. Speaking of things we don't necessarily understand, Jan Dross says, we must be born again. You are born <laughs> again when you are like Jesus, then you are sinless. And then there's a lot of nice little helpful citations. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Let me yeah. keep oh, scrolling yeah. down. Oh, and he gives us all his the verse. Come on there's a yeah. whole thing here. Thank you very much. Afterwards, my illness was the best thing that happened to me. That was the last thing that he said there. That's great. I appreciate it. Anyway, California said from last week's episode, which was how do atheists get some R-E-S-P-E-C-T <laughs> said, oh, Man, I can't wait until you're able to get back out there and doing SE or uh, Socratic examinations. Again, really missing your energy and enthusiasm in those one-on-one -on -one interviews. I know Reed from uh, Cordial Curiosity has been publishing a few newer ones recently, so hopefully soon. I'm waiting until COVID's completely gone, and I think um, otherwise, I just don't, I don't feel like it would be responsible for me to go out and do that on a regular basis and then go to work at the same time, too. Right. I, I really do respect that a lot of people are... are um, choosing not to wear face masks. And I, I completely respect that, though. I, I really want to make sure that I'm advocating for proper health for this country because we aren't getting it necessarily from the government. <laughs> it seems a lot of the choices are political. So I want to yeah. I at least want to make sure that the people I work with uh, are safe from, you know, anything that I could pull from random people off the streets and stuff like that. Sure. So uh, Ab Kane says, I still avoid saying I'm an atheist and just use the I don't believe in much of anything without evidence. Mate, your mom is a total boss. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. I love my mom too. Um, also, I do think if you can, maybe have maybe push the waters a bit with some friends that you do trust and let them know that you're an atheist. Because the more we let people know that we're atheists, yeah. the better. And you might find like-minded people, right? Yeah. Exactly. Like you might find right. friends that uh, you, you didn't know. Likewise, right. oh. it, it, I always like to, to remind people that if they don't come out of the atheist closet and let people know that they're an atheist, even atheists around them will assume they're Christian and they right. may not be able to get their friendship, their companionship. <clears throat> yeah. You know. Likewise, if you're hiding that you're an atheist, it makes it seem like it's something that's worth hiding. Right. Mm. Right. And it mm -hmm. truly isn't. It's not yeah, something no. that you should be ashamed or worried about saying because that's how Christians win even more. Right. right. But they are the most, uh, untrusted distrusted or whatever how you say it a uh, portion yeah. of the population but so i'm saying fault. eat the babies in front of the christians that's all i'm saying right? <laughs> <laughs> uh i won't be a baby i don't want to be hated <laughs> you're gonna i've be already it. lost my job and uh, anyway that's a whole other situation story but um i suspect i can't ever prove it or not but yeah that was part of it yeah but if you they keep us quiet then they have won truth that's true and, and Larry. through silence we give up our power and also yeah. being disliked versus warranting being disliked are two completely different things and i can't control how they <clears> feel <throat> about me when they see if they see a person with black skin and that bothers them that's nothing on me so like right. i say be the real you right right and, <laughs> and, and represent that because it takes so much energy to be anyone else yeah and, and the thing is even too dangerous you know <clears throat> Well, the thing is, too, is uh, I don't I'm not particularly worried about being hated by people who believe in nonsense uh, because they're, <laughs> they're, they're not they're not with me intellectually anyway. So, right. Well, yeah. Um, those, aren't the people, those aren't the people I care right. about. To well, have well, let me let me say so. Let me say this. I mean, we're all talking about everybody should come out. 
there are situations when you shouldn't. I don't right. think I wouldn't come out if it means that you're going to lose your home because your family is going to throw you out in the street. Correct. I wouldn't mm -hmm. come out if you're going to lose your livelihood because you know that yeah. you're working at Chick-fil-A or something and you're <laughs> going to have to be thrown to the curb. You know, there are Literally. situations yeah. when it would it is not a good idea to come out. Right. right. Sometimes you may not even want to come out if it's not the other person's business. Like if I'm just dealing with someone right. who is like, hey, I don't I don't this is a this is a transaction where once I'm done with you, I've never seen you again. I don't need well, it's a, too much for some people to handle, honestly. Okay. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. Um, I was at the uh, pet store, not the pet store. I was at the uh, animal shelter yesterday, you know, petting some cats, giving some love out and walking dogs. And a lady comes in and she's like, I just lost my cat. I'm in grief, but I want to see what cats you guys have available but don't worry about me. My, I know I'm going to see my cat again in heaven. And I'm like, I'm not going to go out of my way and tell this person that right. I don't have mm -hmm. Like, it's just, yeah, I'll show you where the cats are. It's not a big deal. John Richards, what's up? I'm wondering why she would go to cat heaven. But anyway, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think this is, this has really got to be left to the person in, in concerned. Sure. Although we should encourage people to come out right. of the closet. Exactly. Yes. Right. But it's got to be a personal choice because some people coming out of the closet could be a risk to life. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. true. Very true. So great well, conversation. Certainly depending on, on depending on what country you're in. Right. Yeah. Yes, right. definitely. Yeah. And, um, and the, re the religious know this, of course, because mm -hmm. that's why they set up this shunning uh, activity between members of families. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just communication yeah. and all that. Well, yeah. and excommunication, and of course, there's the, uh, the 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 people, the clergy themselves that uh, are leaving faith, um, but find themselves, you know, betwixt a, a rock and a hard place mm -hmm. because uh, perhaps preaching has been the only job they've ever had. Mm -hmm. um, right. So I'm talking about the clergy project, of course. Sure. Um, they can find so, refuge there. Yeah. So, you know, there's. Yeah, it, it can be hard for all kinds of people, right? But yeah, uh, I, I think, you know, maybe it's important uh, if you're in a circumstance where it's uh, not safe or, or, you know, could pose a risk to your livelihood, that you actively work toward creating circumstances for yourself in which you don't have to be in that position, you know, if you can, mm -hmm. right? Right, right. You know, stop working at Chick-fil-A and get another job, right? Uh, and mm -hmm. then you don't have to worry about, right. you know, coming out as an atheist and losing it, you know, mm -hmm. so. Right. Yeah. You know, some of the things I wish that science had were impassioned speakers that are capable of breaking complex facts down to audiences in the way mm -hmm. that a pastor does speak mm -hmm. to his congregation. And for, you know, you, you, there's only so many like Neil deGrasse Tyson's and Carl Sagan's in the world, right? And so like if we had a religious person who's like, hey, I'm out, but I'm out as a plaza as an atheist, but I do feel like I have these skill sets and I do have this motivation to, to express aspects of science in just as wondrous a way so that people can get on board with this and advertise it and speak to it and, and, and use that as like the new truth and deliver it in a vehicle where people who need that religious hole filled can get it from more rational basis. I would really appreciate it if more like they just had readapted their skill set to something a bit more useful sure. and utilitarian because it's a it's an incredible thing to see. I just wish it was wasn't wasted on false hope, you know? Like I wish it wasn't just a peddling of essentially well, think lies. about all the resources that religion has diverted in the last thousand well five thousand years. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's travesty. It's a travesty. Mm -hmm. California one. Thank you so much for that comment. That was a great stimulating conversation. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, was that, was that, no, that was app Kane. We appreciate that. So, uh, data's training room. Also another comment on the update on Matt Dillahunty. Uh, he's doing great. He's doing two to three shows per week. I'm really happy to hear that. Uh, Matt Dillahunty, uh, atheist experience, atheist society of, uh, was it Austin atheist community of Austin, mm -hmm. um, recently had some surgery on himself. I won't get into the details too much, but has some, from the looks of it made a full recovery. Uh, one last comment from data trading room, <laughs> a person, no matter of faith or lack of thereof can be a better humanist. And I think we can all agree with that. Does that seem fair? Yep. Sure. Yes. That's pretty I agree. Fair. I agree. Yeah. All right. Even 
Even a pastafarian. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Even a pastafarian. That's All right. right. So guys, we're in the uh, last stretches of today's show. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was the, you know, Old Testament, which uh, we have our uh, uh, a regional expert on it, the not so Jewish, but is Jewish, George Brown, second and a half. George Brown, second and a half. Are you still with us? I think so. Nice, nice. You had a comment yeah. on one of the uh, the weird inconsistencies about the Old Testament. Did you want to talk about that? I can't remember a thing about it. <laughs> you wanted to talk about God saying, hey, don't let any other gods before us. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, that you see, <clears throat> I really started thinking about that in the context of, uh, you know, who else is available in the God store? You know, right. in other words, if he's saying, thou shalt not have any other God before me. Well, hmm, that's an acknowledgement that there are other gods. Right. Maybe we don't like this particular one. Kind of maybe going back to up. Yeah, kind of going back to what we were saying at the beginning of the show, like maybe we should hire a different God to take God's place, like one that would actually show up. I feel like we downloaded a very expensive app on our phone that watches everything yeah. that we have and charges us 10% of our paycheck every month, but does nothing on our phone. It doesn't turn on the light, doesn't yeah. take a picture, doesn't communicate with our friends. It does nothing. Maybe there are better apps out there. And if the terms of service of God app is don't let any other apps before me, maybe we should look back at the God app store and the flying spaghetti monster. I mean, Dred, can you make an argument for why we should have that be our, uh, our new God in chief, if you will? Our newly Lord. Yeah. Uh, because he, he, the beer, you know, the beer volcano and the stripper mm -hmm. factory as uh, rewards for a, a, life well lived uh, in service of um, all things Pastafarian. Okay. Um, I'm sold. So, yeah. <laughs> and, and also there's the God back guarantee. So, there's a God uh, back guarantee. Yeah. Ah. If, if you, uh, you know, if you try out Pastafarianism for, for 30 days and you don't like it, uh, yeah. you can always appeal to your old God to take you back. Okay. 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 There is a limited pasta in this deal, right? Or is his whole is his oh, body unlimited pasta? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm signing up for. I'm not yeah. much of a beer drinker. Hey, what's up, John Richards? What's his trade in value, Dread? <laughs> <laughs> uh, box of lasagna noodles. I don't know. <laughs> cool. 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 A, I'm sold. As I said. I I, know, I mean, it sounds more entertaining than some of the other guys out there, though. I do. I would like to try Joe Pesci, at least for, you know, a trial period. I've heard praying to him is just as effective and I know where he lives. So uh, it might be. No, 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 no. My, my favorite would be Morgan Freeman. Can I have? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. He's a hardcore Christian. I he guess. he I feel like he's typecast <laughs> into the role. And I feel like if he could just speak a little faster, I, I need at least, you know, 70 words per minute for my, for right. my God. Just, I need to worry about the, th it's like, that's way too slow. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> National oh, Geographic. That was a, that was a pretty good impression. I like that. I appreciate it. I, appreciate it. <laughs> I got a number of is he in the room? <laughs> I, I think we, I think we need to be looking at the resumes of different gods and see, if, you know, is there one that we would like to hire? Maybe yeah. that's something we can do in the future. I really yeah, like but that idea. Yeah. The resumes are always made up. Yeah. <laughs> are all resumes there's, made up, yeah. Larry? Yeah. Well, there's, yeah. no validity there's no fact there. checking. There's no fact <laughs> no. checking. Yeah. Who do Especially we call to those. verify your resume? That's the, yeah. that's the real question. Yeah. Like, who can we call well, to verify yeah. this? Who are your references? Exactly. Yeah. Who are your references? Like, like I was saying, mm. over here in the UK, we have the technology. Mm. Okay. We have a, we have an organization that does it. Nice. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Though, you know, God's reference would be Jesus, but I'm like, isn't he you? Isn't that just you at a different yeah. number? Like, yeah. what's going on there? That's a tautology there. It's a yeah. little bit of a shifty situation. Mm -hmm. Guys, we're at the point of the show where it's time to plug uh, yourselves um, feel, or think about something that you'd like to recommend that we check out before next week. And I'll throw it up to Dread Pirate oh, Higgs. Oh, all right. Um, yeah. So you can find my stuff on my YouTube channel at Mind Pirate, M I N D P Y R A T E. I do uh, live stream this at 7 a.m. PDT. That's Pacific Daylight Time. And it looks like we're going to be sticking to it too. Nice. Nice. Um, yeah. And then uh, I'm doing a, a show with John Richards, the Global Atheist News Review, where yep. a, a panel of 
uh, folks uh, look over the headlines of the past week and uh, speak our thoughts on it's a worldwide what's going truth. on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's where you can find me. Nice. Views nice. on the news. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, and I stream that at 11 a.m. on Sundays. Okay. Very, very cool. Uh, it's it's still today in a couple of hours, right, John Richards? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's wonderful. eleven. A. Yeah. Eleven uh, a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Seven yes. p.m. here. So whatever that is. Where yeah, you it's are. it's eleven a.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time. Yeah. So John, I know not... you got the most stuff to plug, so I'm just going to see if anybody else has anything. George Brown, do you have anything you'd like to recommend that we check out before next week? Well, every time you ask me that, I, I can't think straight. So that's our that's our new little gig. That's a, that's the bit that we have now. <laughs> Milk Bone, do you have anything that you'd like for us to check out, or, or anything anything interesting you'd like for us to check out before uh, next week? She says she's away, so I'll put it in for her. iPhones, iPhones are probably pretty cool. All right, there we go. <laughs> Larry Rhodes, do you have anything you'd recommend that we check out, or anything you'd like to plug? Well, yeah, I'll plug yet. Yeah. <clears throat> not yet not yet if you're uh, having trouble leaving religious beliefs behind and a lot of people struggle that uh struggle with that you can find help online at recoveringfromreligion.org uh, by the way you can uh i understand a lot of clergy members are leaving the church because they no longer believe uh you if you're a preacher imam pastor or priest but have come to believe or see that the claims of religion are not justified, there's help for you at The Clergy Project. Uh, the link is clergyproject.org. <clears throat> My content can be found at digitalfreethought.com. Be sure to click on the blog. Hey, button we're not closing our... out the show. Okay, I thought you were. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're, we're, I thought it was kind of early, but I, I was saw you. I saw you get into the script. I was just like, not yet, not yet, not yet. But that's yeah. a good thing for us to check out. My thing to check out is um, visit your local animal shelter. Um, if you can walk dogs, they'd really appreciate it more than money. They really respect your time and appreciate your time. And then also sure. uh, humanizing cats, getting them acclimated to being around people petted helps them get adopted more. Black cats are the least likely to get adopted, so if you see some black cats, uh, give them love. They're really, really chill animals, and it's the thing that I've been really enjoying doing. More so than sitting in a church pew and feeling good about myself when I walk out. Help your community. Get out there. Pick up trash. Do something. But don't just sit. Even if you're religious, get out there and try to do something productive. Uh, Dred, what do you think? I was just going to say um, the Pastafarian Church here in Grand Forks has successfully uh, been uh, included into the Adopt the Highway program. Nice. So, uh, yeah, we have a two-kilometer stretch where our the flying spaghetti monster and crew is featured on the sign and we're going to go pick up trash nice what do you what do you two mean we pale face? Like two football fields nice what's up guys what do you mean we pale face <laughs> <laughs> okay john richards i know you got the most to plug go for it everyone pay well, attention get your notebooks out <laughs> <laughs> It's very easy. It's all on Free Thought Productions YouTube channel. Nice. And I do a growing number of shows. I do the Global Atheist News every week, where we, we gather reports about the religious impact that it makes on humanity. Then the follow-up show, as Dred said, and he's coming to help me with it, and so are you, Ty. Thank you, guys. Yep, yep. Is the review where opinionated people express their views of the news. Then I also do Free Thought Hour, which is like an interview show with one special guest. I did a great one yesterday with uh, thanks to my guest, who was a guy called uh, Jeff Dazenbrock Kane, who used to be a host himself and has quite a lot of presence on Facebook, particularly in unbelievable question mark group. Then I, I, I appear as a guest myself on other people's shows. And uh, the one coming up now, which I'd like to plug, is for, what's he called it? Uh, it's, um, I'll get his name up in a minute. It's, uh, it's, uh, Dog <laughs> TV Radio Live podcast. Nice. Okay. And that's, that's hosted by Brett Keane. And it's scheduled now, my first appearance uh, as his uh, guest, uh, apart from the <clears> odd <throat> one that I did today, is um, on Tuesday the 27th. Is Tuesday the 27th? Yes. 
no, Wednesday, beg your pardon, Wednesday the 27th at um, some hour or other. <laughs> anyway, it's scheduled and my, my opponent, 1 a.m. in, <laughs> I think that's central time. So that's going to be very difficult for me. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I better check the timing. Okay. Uh, well, my opponent, well. anyways, Kent Hovind. So I'm looking forward to chatting to him. Dr. Dino. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> one thing about Brent, uh, Brett Keen is he, he claims to be a, a former atheist. He used to put out uh, videos, I think, as an atheist per se. So be yeah. sure to ask him all about that. Yeah, yeah, you know, former atheists are the ones that scare me the most because in a weird way, most religious people are, uh, I don't know, I don't want to get into it. We don't have the time for it right now, but basically mm -hmm. it's a sad That'd thing a for topic someone. Later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Born again atheists, we may have to mm -hmm. talk about that. But anyway, Larry, that John Richard's plugs were so numerous and so well worth listening to that I forgot what atheism is and what it's all about. Oh. Uh, well, <laughs> if we're talking about plugs... We can plug my book, I guess. Uh, Atheism, what's it all about? It's a book that I've got on Amazon. Uh, so you can go there and, and download either an electronic uh, copy of it or, or the paperback. Uh, my other content and pretty much all of the stuff that's in the book can be found at digitalfreethought.com. When you go there, be sure to click on the blog button for our radio show archives, atheist songs, uh, videos, and articles on the subject. My YouTube channel can be found by searching for Doubter 5 or Larry Rhodes. And uh, that's about all the stuff I really wanted to link to Great. as far as uh, content. Just a heads up. Thank, thank you. you for all the comments. Just feel free to leave sure. them at the end of our channels, respectively. Mind Pirate, uh, uh, Doubter 5's channel, John Richard's channel, so many channels, my channel, anyone. And uh, we'll be happy to review them over the show. And we're ready to sign out now. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on the Digital Free Thought Radio Hour. Remember, you can find our podcast at Apple iTunes, Pocket Casts, Amazon, and Podcasts Everywhere. Just search for Digital Free Thought Radio Hour. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe. Remember, everybody is going to somebody else's hell. The time to worry about it when they prove that heavens and hells and souls are real. Until then, don't sweat it. Enjoy your life, and we'll see you next week. Say bye, everybody. <laughs> bye, bye, everybody. Bye. Robin. Robin. <laughs> Love it. That's awesome. Cool.